Who bro amongst the other shit. Look, we pas besoin vin la pour vin bataille avec moi parce que m'a parlé on belle parler là. Just shit up pour un petit moment pour pop on John m'a expliquer ça. Pose. You know I'm gonna be translating in English and, and Creole so y'all can get the message. <laughs> But if we are men, let's let's speak like men, like I'm doing on the camera, dog. Like to vandalize the mural, and let's just keep it real. A lot of y'all hit y'all faces, oh, salute to y'all. But that, I mean, if y'all hit y'all faces, clearly y'all y'all have to have the conscience to know what y'all was doing was kind of green. Now I'm not picking. Like when Boulevard quit, you feel what I'm saying, dog? When his kids staring into the soul of that painting and, and the gap it was supposed to bridge beyond the community, it just it just make us look bad. And at the end of the day, those com this scene now, you know I gotta get some commentary on this now. As we know, G Money mother been going through what she been going through as well. Or in the United States of America. Niggas like thinking that individual shit. These are facts. Niggas, you know how many Haitians I know that done killed each other? I ain't gonna speak it on the camera, but I'm just calling it facts, bro. Like, let's not fake the funk. So once he tap in with y'all, he gotta tap in with these motherfuckers too. Then he gotta go tap in over here. When when does this shit stop? He's just gonna be tap. That's what I mean, dog. Was it something so serious? that the murals needed to be violated, dawg. Like, I, I just, I can't, I feel like, look, I'm. Yo, man, what's good, YouTube family, man? This shit, God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Man, y'all go ahead and smash that like button, man. Hit that notification bell, like, share, subscribe. Let me catch my breath right quick. I ain't seen y'all for a long time, man. I miss y'all too, man. Salute. I gotta speak on a situation I've been noticing that happened in a while, man. And I don't clout chase the wave. I don't do a video every fucking day like that. I mean, maybe I need to do a live or something with y'all. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section if y'all want me to do videos every fucking day and shit. I got y'all. I'm out of breath, y'all. This coronavirus shit. I got it upstairs and downstairs. Work with me. I'm out of shape. Now, on this video, I was about to go in. On this video, I wanted to do the politics, but I can't do none of that. I live in Florida. I'm born and raised in South Florida. Shout out to the Haitians. Shout out to TBG in Louisiana. Shout out to Florida and all the Haitians out there and all the people from Louisiana. I'm about to use this video to bridge the gap, man. Now, y'all seen what's been circulating a couple of days ago. A couple of Haitians and some alleged Haitians. Maybe they all was. We don't know. I'm not getting into that. Let's just say people i don't want to say the haitian thing because i'm a haitian just because we all haitians don't mean we all think the same way facts and this ain't no b videos hey look to all the gangsters involved listen gangster you a gangster salute but just understand not every time when a nigga chris criticize a situation oh we got to try to kill this nigga oh this nigga gotta die could that just uh, bring stupid stupidity bro amongst the other shit look Parce que m'a parlé un bel parler là, just shit up pour un petit moment pour qu'on je m'a expliqué ça. Pose. You know, I'm going to be translating in English and, and Creole so y'all can get the message. 
Now, a couple of days ago, a couple of Haitians from the west side of Little Haiti or whatever, they vandalized the mural of G Money and Boulevard Quick. First of all, man, moment of silence for G Money and Boulevard Quick. Rest in peace to them GB, uh, TBGs, uh, snipers, man, because I look at it as a whole. First of all, so many correlation between the Haitians and Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? It's a history between both. A lot of cats don't even know that. Especially, why do you think Florida and Louisiana, you see we do the same thing. We got the same goals, the dread. The, I mean, the culture is to exact T. I've been to both places. It's no different. Now the mural was vandalized and people use it to say because Fredo Bang didn't tap in. That's what the Haitians are saying. They're saying he, and I don't know how deep all that goes in, but we do know Fredo Bank got ties with Haitians. Now, according to these Haitians, they're saying he didn't get ties with the Haitians in the West Side. Cause not just because we are Haitians, one thing any Haitian could tell you, or anybody from Florida who's been around the Haitians, just because we are Haitians don't mean we don't beef with each other. Don't mean we don't kill each other. People gotta get that shit out the way because they watching too much movies and too many of these stars got niggas blind and thinking, you know, it's a real unity. The unfortunate part, my communities of Haitians ain't no different than other black communities because we are black. We got the same conflict because niggas ain't really unified for real. Even though I, lo I love this, this flag. You see what I'm saying? What it says right here, La Union, La Force. You feel me? That's unity shit, bro. Desaline, the general. You know, I, I know Toussaint Louverture, but he used the strength of unity to overcome three different nations and defeat them all with just heart and unity. And now you got niggas out here. I'm not calling y'all clout chasers. Salute to y'all, Zos. But to disrespect the murals of, of, of some honorable gentlemen like that. You feel me, dog? Like, these niggas fell on the streets trying to chase what they want to eat. And I understand y'all trying to eat, too. But you gotta remember, not everything is for the fucking cameras, bro. We could have easily politic and y'all could have hit up, bro, you know, behind the scenes on some shit, bro. I'm just feeling like we all men. And I know y'all probably gonna feel like y'all could punk me because y'all got guns and all. But if we are men, let's let's speak like men like I'm doing on the camera, dawg. Like, to vandalize the mural. And let's just keep it real. A lot of y'all hit y'all faces, though. Salute to y'all, but that, I mean, if y'all hit y'all faces, clearly y'all y'all have to have the conscience to know what y'all was doing was kind of green. Now, I'm not picking sides. I don't know what Fredo did behind the politics. I only can go off what you niggas was saying on the camera. You niggas was clearly saying that these niggas didn't tap in and X, Y, and Z. But I feel like, come on, bro, did it need to be to the severity of that? And why couldn't you physically do something to bro, even though I don't want to see that happen? You know what I mean? Why couldn't we see that happen instead of the murals being violated? Because that's somebody's family member, bro. Look, whatever beef you got with Fredo Bang and all that, I'm not saying I'm getting into that. Men need to handle their differences like men. But I feel like what G Money and Boulevard Quick represented, bro, they, they got a core following, dog. Like, it's, it's bigger than Fredo Bang. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's bigger than Fredo Bang, dog. It wasn't, it wasn't something that... It could be as a moment, because trust me, dog, y'all probably feeling real cool about it. I, I already know, be, I know to get down, because I was a youngin' before. You know, I'm an old head now, bro. It's, I'm, I'm not an old head like that, but y'all know when you mature beyond your years, you just call yourself an old head. You validate yourself, because you see you different from niggas and your peers. So not, not disrespecting nobody. All I'm saying is, it feels good right now. You feeling like the wave is on you, and that moment of, hi, huh, yeah, we did X, Y, and Z, but I know... As the moment died down, y'all gonna be like, why the fuck we did that shit? Facts. Niggas gonna front and lie and say they don't, but you gonna realize, like, was it even worth to really do that? And shout out to the nigga that painted that. You don't know the painter put his heart and soul into that, even if he got paid or not. When when an artist go out there and paint something like that, they don't just take the picture and paint it, bro. They go learn who the individuals are of these murals they're painting, bro. And, and the soul that that painter put into to capturing the life essence of who G Money was. You feel what I'm saying? Or who Boulevard Quick. I ain't gonna fake the funk like I knew these niggas in real life, but some people become bigger than what they physical realm is, meaning that they become bigger than the spirit form of humans, dawg. They become a, a motivational goal for that little nigga out there who trying to climb out the mud. He don't know how he gonna do it, so he listen to inspiration, music that this nigga done drop, this nigga Boulevard quick, or, or fuck all that. What about they kids? Because they are fathers, bro. 
they kids see the love of little Haiti, bro. And, and we bringing the and people say niggas gotta tap into little Haiti. I feel you, dog. A lot of niggas taking videos down in little Haiti. Niggas saying they plug with X, Y, and Z, but they don't never show no love. Like I, I feel you, homie. But at the end of the day, homie, we gotta look at the bigger pictures, dog. Hang on, I ain't, I ain't gonna. I got up, man. This camera shit. Hold on, y'all. Like when Boulevard quit, you feel what I'm saying, dog? When his kids staring into the soul of that painting and and the gap it was supposed to bridge beyond the community it just it just make us look bad and at the end of the day those communities that we we acting like i mean it is our community bro I, i'm proud that i see you zoes taking the community and making it yours but at the end of the day bro them communities that we kill each other every day for none of us have any type of real investment in them communities none of us have something that can come back to the the community and circulate bro so it, at the end of the day was it really worth to bamboozle something that was bridging the gap between two cities two states and that's what i wanted to see dog because this right here could have a domino effect you might have a nigga trying to work with an artist down over there and they supposed to look at y'all as they security you don't even know them so now you hurting other niggas pocket with this type of move i felt like you should have keep it between y'all and fredo behind the scenes so it could be y'all beef you know just like that or even if y'all put it on front street leave the murals out of it because now what you what you're doing now it, it's a it's a war between louisiana and, and florida and it's not even that deep like that because with the nba young boy situation you feel what i'm saying it's like we made niggas like me put my face in the camera to make sure this ain't no florida versus louisiana it's a fuck nigga versus real nigga situation but now you doing this dog i'm gonna just be real with y'all like it's a bad miss mis inter uh representation of who we really are as a people and that's why I'm trying to talk. I ain't talking no gangster shit, nothing like that. Salute on both sides. And with Fredo Bang, I understand what you wrote, Karma, because you do move very quiet, and I respect that. I just feel like, bro, listen, bro, this ain't no capping or nothing like that. I feel like whatever y'all niggas got going on, I feel like there's no phone call that can't broker the, the situation. Because a lot of the niggas in the video clearly don't got no real beef. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to hate on y'all, but... What Fredo did, did he kill one of y'all homies? Y'all see what I'm saying? Did he kill one of y'all homies? Bro, when niggas get the vandalizing murals, it's cause blood been shared, dawg. Niggas don't, I seen enemies and oppositions, bro. And listen to me when I tell y'all, bro, I'm a war veteran, bro. I've been to other nations and countries where there, there's a there's a code. Look, I'm talking to my Zoes right now, bro. There's a code of ethic, bro. There's like certain, I'm not gonna act like United States military don't go in there and destroy certain historical artifact, but everybody know that code is, bro, don't touch this right here. Even though you're gonna kill this person, kill that, leave this right here because this is gonna stand to the test of time even after we're dead. This is important, bro. Niggas understood to leave that alone. So when we vandalizing the murals, I'm not trying to um, edify uh, and make these niggas become deities and gods or anything like that. I'm just saying, the way I'm talking passionately about them niggas, Boulevard, Quick, and G-Money, imagine how many millions of people, because yes, bro, it's in the droves of millions of motherfuckers who are taking pictures, because I don't know if y'all looked online. That shit became a tourist attraction. Why y'all mad at that? Y'all should embrace that, because that fucking bring food to the communities, nigga. I'm not talking no hating shit on y'all, but when y'all get niggas getting scared to come to little Haiti, y'all proud of that. Y'all not looking at how that's, y'all actually hurting the communities, bro. Because now you got a violent situation that's already inside the neighborhood. Don't you think it's better when you bring people outside the communities coming down there? And who care if those other people are clout chasing? Once again, they're not killing your families. They're not taking food out of y'all mouths because they're really not. If anything, by giving little Haiti a name, they're bringing prominent status to the city by these global artists because that's what you are if you're artists nowadays because of the internet bro you're you're global bro you got niggas from um germany who got pictures of g money and boulevard quick murals in real life when they came down there dog that shit made me feel good to see that trust me dog but a lot of people get greedy like at the end of the day who who is he really supposed to ch tap in and check in with dog 
because even if he come he already checked in with the people he's cool with and the Haitians he's cool with and they made the man feel comfortable I feel like even if it's your opposition or not he shouldn't be bridged into y'all little beef bruh because at the end of the day you gotta look this shit deeper bro if he tap in with y'all it's gonna be other niggas in that because Haitians ain't together like that we always portray that image we unified but we all know the deep truth about it let's not lie about it from the Haitians leaving Haiti to the Haitians born here all over the world or in United States of America niggas like thinking that individual shit these are facts niggas you know how many Haitians I known that done killed each other I ain't gonna speak it on the camera but I'm just calling it facts bro like let's not fake the funk so once he tap in with y'all he gotta tap in with these motherfuckers too then he gotta go tap in over here when when does this shit stop he's just gonna be tap that's what I mean dog was it something so serious that the murals needed to be violated dog like I, I just I can't I feel like look I'm nobody compared to y'all niggas we know this already but if you niggas do have some type of mindset and y'all care about the neighborhood, y'all see them little babies, forget who the fuck I am, forget about what y'all want to do to me right now. You know, because I know niggas is ignorant and shit. You, you probably only heard 30 seconds of my video and like, oh, we need to ride on this nigga. Fuck all that, bro. Let's Remember, we supposed to be this. Y'all, I seen y'all terrorizing the murals, but waving this. So can you stand for the flag that you got on your face right now, Zo? Could you actually go learn the history of this fucking flag? First of all, take out the blue part and put the black and red and go learn the original colors of this flag. Go learn what took fucking Makandal to come through the villages and destroy the French with the, the vital essence of the fortitude of strength he had, bro. That he believed not to become this Haiti. He believed when he died, his body would be reincarnated back in the motherland of Africa. Facts. You niggas don't even learn the history, but y'all wave this flag every day. Some of you niggas just say, because my last name is Toussaint. You'll be like Toussaint Louverture. But yet you don't go learn the other great generals of Haiti like Dessalines, bro. Dessalines, forget the citadel that he did. Look at what the mindset he put in people to get together, bro. Nobody wants to, to actually go learn what they waving. Everybody got a flag. This talking to all you people in every single country. We all wave our flags, right? We all want to wave the flag and this and that, but you don't even know nothing about the flag that you so-called are emotional about. You're actually doing the contradiction of what the flag actually represents and mean, bro. To do that shit, I'm going to be honest with y'all boys. I'm too grown to lie and fake the funk. It was distasteful and disgraceful, bro, to your own honor and respect. You feel what I'm saying? It just is what it is. I On my channel, I keep it funky. And just do better, man. We need to do better, man. So if you took anything out the video, just know it's another nigga speaking to another nigga and telling y'all we need to do better, bro. And if you get mad at this video, then all oh, law, then you need is I'm, I'm not saying don't hurt me, don't kill me. But if you have animosity and you are Haitian and I did this video, please don't ever wave this flag no more because I'm the truest Haitian of y'all. Not just because I got Haiti tatted all over me. See, it's embodied in me even if I didn't have a tat. My history is a freedom fighter, bro. And I fight for the unconscious living or the undead or the walking dead or the ghost that's still stuck here, bro. <laughs> I smell dead body everywhere and I see dead people, bro. Our people is a sleeping dead zombie walking around. And it's true. When I see niggas de facing the murals of Boulevard Quick and G-Money, I just seen fucking savagery nature of us bro and it didn't make no sense bro because the same thing that got them killed is what we're doing over here and then tomorrow when one of one of ours get killed bro you know how ridiculous we look when we speak about these other facts but you guys do do good in the community i'm not saying that at all keep doing good in the community but just remember that one bad little incident makes them it spreads like a virus bro like the corona it's gonna make the entire community look bad nobody's gonna really want to work with zoes like that you gotta think smart about this bro all i'm saying i don't think g money or boulevard quick deserve that if y'all did then feel free to get mad at me but i gotta stand for the righteous i gotta be honorable honorable period bro i like i told y'all from day one i don't get paid on youtube for this shit this this shit come from the heart from the most high it's non-biased all you gonna get and if i so happen get killed because i speak the real then it's just something i'll be a martyr for my kids so they can get that sharp wisdom because my electricity force will be embodied in my kids too we need more haitians like me y'all i'm not trying to be cocky but i know my mindset even if i'm mad at you i still wave the flag because it's really peace and unity so why do you wave the flag
make you famous It's not for the tragedy Don't get these pedophiles from the body Cause you open it like perpetuated Like you free of violence Cause you even say hey, Spartan, this is just an engine The eviction, eviction The portions and the portions And I catch you, this is a who Like I'm so sick, like I chew This is sick with